What's going on everybody? So we figured we do a little vlog action because a lot of people have messaged us and requested that we do so. So here we are. We are actually at the highest point in Portugal, highest point altitude wise. I'm going to attempt to say the name now. Everybody brace yourself. It is Serra de Estrela. Yeah, close enough. Close enough. All right. It's pretty cool. It's very beautiful. There was a lot of uh, windy roads filled with near-death experiences to get up here, but I'm gonna flip the camera around so you guys can see everything around us because it is very beautiful and uh, we definitely wanna show off this part of the trip. So here we go, let's flip the camera. So here is our incredible view. I'm gonna give everybody a, a nice 360 spin here of the mountains. So right now you can see the mountains because uh, we're not in the dead of winter. So when we're in the dead of winter, there's so much snow that you can't see anything except white. And right here you can see a little bit of snow. So there is evidence of snow, but nothing the way that Joanna has described to me. It sounds like they get like 20 feet of snow up here, which is pretty crazy. And then, um, so over here is the actual highest point. And uh, we actually just went in there a little while ago, got some souvenirs, some new sweatshirts. And um, the ski lift is over here. We saw the ski mountain as we are, you know, the ski slopes as we came over. I mean, the views are just absolutely breathtaking. Um, basically, it's like a screensaver for your computer, but in real life. So we're gonna go check out some other places and uh, we'll film some more clips so you guys can enjoy more of our mini vacation, our trip to Portugal. And it's been absolutely incredible so far. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying our mini vlogs all right guys so we are at destination number two look at that cute little house up there i can't even my arm doesn't move that way <laughs> look at that cute little house <laughs> off in the distance but um so we are at another really amazingly beautiful location i'm gonna let the tour guide here actually pronounce the name of it correctly so <laughs> so which means long lake right kind of yeah well, we're gonna show it off to you guys in just a second. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it and has a huge dam holding in all the water. Yeah, there's a there's a big dam in the front, but uh, enough talking, let's, let's give you guys the view. All right guys, so check this out. So that's the dam over there that Joanna was just mentioning. And then there's this super structure that goes all the way around and you can actually walk on it. We're not gonna walk on it today because it's covered in ice and we're actually losing sunlight, but the view right now is absolutely incredible. The lake is partially frozen over, so there's some ice and then some water running that's not frozen, but the view with the mountains in the background and everything, how it's like partially snowy, it's really majestic. Over here is actually really cool too. So you have some parents that have given up on their children. They're playing down there. <laughs> so that was pretty wild i was actually impressed that those kids were able to get over there they're throwing rocks at each other they're having a blast there is a little gift shop over here we're about to check out i heard a rumor that there might be hot chocolate so i might have to hit that up but yeah this is absolutely incredible there's the road that we narrowly escaped and managed to come down i think we passed nicholas cage on his way to find an exotic artifact but yeah it's super beautiful it's even more beautiful because this is a brand new iphone that i'm filming on so shout out to apple i am one of the cool kids now i have like seven camera lenses on the flip side of my phone as compared to one but yeah it's it's super cool 
So there's Joanna. She's actually hobbling a little bit um, because she hurt herself. She was trying to show off and uh, we, on one of our previous expeditions, did not film it. put on good shoes and then I didn't put She, she unfortunately just rolled her ankle a little bit. So she's hobbling. Sir limps a lot is our tour guide for today, but she's I'm killing it. it. She's yeah, killing it. Look at, look at, look how you get up here. Like treacherous. I'm killing it. Yeah, no, this is not an easy, easy climb whatsoever, but we're going to continue on here. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the vlog. If you are, perhaps book a ticket to Portugal, or if you can't afford that, which we completely understand, make sure to smash that like button. And uh, we're going to see, <laughs> we're going to see where else we go off to. <laughs> Well, this is going to be the shortest intro ever because it is raining, but we happen to find a Funko Pop store here in Portugal. This is our first stop where we're actually going to go check it out. It is Lojas de pa Dos Pops. Lojas Dos Pops. Lojas Dos Pops. All right, I'm still working on my Portuguese and my pronunciations and everything, but we just spoke to the owners. They were super nice and they got some great stuff inside. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the hunt. And they speak English. So if and you they, come they here, they speak English. Yes. You're you're set. You're Absolutely. good. Absolutely. So we're going to check out everything they have in the store and we have a feeling you guys are going to like what they have. All right, so here we go. Coming into Lojas Dos Pops. And right off the bat, you can see they actually have a cute little Groot right there, if the camera will come into focus. And then immediately right off the bat, as we came inside, we noticed how clean and organized the shop is, which we always appreciate no matter which country we're in. But we're gonna start off with this amazing Pop Rocks section. They actually have all of their pops organized by theme on all these Billy bookcases, which is fantastic. The first one that I noticed right off the bat was this awesome Blink-182 three pack. Super cool right there. We also have the Snoop Dogg Pop album. Also very cool. I think we're gonna need that for Joanna's collection at some point. Um, let's see, they have some of the new Snoop Dogg Pops right here, as well as Mariah Carey. They have Post Malone. Here's some of the BTS Pops. I know those are pretty popular nowadays. Coming on down here, we have Def Leppard, Freddie Mercury from Queen, Tupac, Notorious B.I.G., Britney Spears. Right here we have the Diamond, Whitney Houston. Now, because we are in Europe, you're gonna see a lot of these special edition stickers, obviously, because they don't have the exclusives like they do in the United States. However, a lot of their pops actually have the newer exclusive sticker, the international one, which we actually like better. So we're definitely gonna be checking those out very soon coming over here we did spot a chase here this is the ladybug chase from bullet train did not see that movie but always great to find a chase they have some jurassic world pops coming up here we have some of the hamilton ones and i love how they organized all the bigger pops in the pop albums on the top shelf here is the bella porsche relatively new album right there which is great and then coming over to the next section, looks like we have some movies pop. So here's some Christmas ones from Jingle All The Way. And then coming on up here, we actually have one of the new Rocky pops. Up here we have some 10 inch pops with Robert Pattinson Batman from the Batman movie, Pennywise and Mewtwo from Pokemon. Over here we have some of the newer Matrix pops with Morpheus and Neo. This is a great one right here, the Elliot and E.T. Now this is perfect, Funko. You are managed to put this mini pop ride in a singular four inch pop box. It's super cute, right? Sometimes they put like pops like this in a deluxe pop, pop box when it's unnecessary. Here's Marvin the Martian from Space Jam A New Legacy. Coming on down here, we have some Artemis Fowl. Here is Bill Murray from Zombieland. That was a great movie. And then we have some of the Marvel wrestlers down there, which is a perfect segue into one of the Marvel sections. And we noticed right off the bat, they actually had a pretty cool She-Hulk pop. This is the glitter She-Hulk. Look at her dress. That's fantastic. Here's some more Deadpool pops. We have the Flamchenko Deadpool, as well as LARP Deadpool, Deadpool and Cake, Dino Pool. Here are some of the pops from the Miss Marvel TV show. Up here we have one of the silver Pokemon 10 inch, that's the Bulbasaur and then Vulpix. And I also have to point out, they have a really cool helmet 
section here. So they don't just have Funko Pops at the store, which is awesome. But guys, check this out. We have the Avengers Endgame, Iron Spider, Ant-Man. These are all from the Legends series. I lo absolutely love this. This is from the Black series. This is the Artillery Stormtrooper, which we saw in Mandalorian Season 2. Here is one of the Rebel fighter pilots. This is Wedge's helmet. Then we have Bo-Katan from the Mandalorian as well. And then the First Order Stormtrooper. I think those are just super cool, and I love how they have them displayed right there. I don't think right they there. fit in our suitcases. No, they don't fit in our suitcases. I would love to take that home. But also, I don't even know where it would go in our house. So moving on over to the next Marvel section, we have some of them still in heart stacks. Some of the Infinity Saga colored pops here, the artist series ones. Right here we have Sylvie from Loki. Then we have some great what if pops. You guys know I absolutely love Captain Carter. She's my favorite character and I can't wait to see her again in what if season two. Coming on down here, let's see. We have some of the Moon Knight pops. This one's awesome. I love the mold on this one. Super cool. Probably gonna be seeing Moon Knight again very soon. Right here we have an OG Spider-Man pop. Here's some pops from Thor Love and Thunder some Eternals pops, and then down here, oh, we actually have a Blacklight. So here's a Blacklight Rogue, and they actually do have a lot of Blacklight pops here in the store, which is really, really cool. Coming over here, we do have another Marvel section. Here we have some of the Loki pops. Here is Ravana Renslayer with Miss Minutes. We also have Maya Lopez from Hawkeye. She's gonna be getting her own series on Disney Plus. And then we have some of the Wakanda Forever Black Panther Pops. Check this out. They even have Namor right here. This is a great mold. Super cool. He was a great villain. So definitely looking forward to seeing him again in the MCU. Oh, I actually need this one. So this is the Ironheart Mark I. And I really enjoyed her character in the movie. Looking forward to her Disney Plus show. That's a great pop right there. That's fantastic. Here is Captain Carter from Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. So a lot of great Marvel pops. There's Falcon from Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And then moving on down here, we have some DC ones from Zack Snyder's Cut of the Justice League. Oh, here's some Spider-Man pops from No Way Home. These are definitely not going to stick around too long. This is Tom Holland's new suit which is fantastic. This one's cool as well. The upgraded suit, love the way they have him flying on the stand. Oh, look, we got another chase. This is one of the brand new Shazam Pops, limited glow chase. Look at that, Shazam Fury of the Gods, which I believe is coming out in theaters pretty soon. Up here we have some more pops from the Batman movie, which Joanna and I thoroughly enjoyed. It was really cool. Definitely looking forward to the second one. Here we have some more Shazam Pops. Coming on down here, we have some Peacemaker ones, as well as Black Adam. And then it looks like we have some more of the super cute Gingerbread Pops. Here's the Gingerbread Batman. Very, very cute. Oh, coming over here, we have some more Spider-Man No Way Home. We have to get this one. Ugh, super cool. Alfred Molina returning to the role of Dr. Octopus. And then, of course, we saw William Defoe returning as the Green Goblin. How cool are those pops? I'm just putting all the ones you want sideways so we don't <laughs> forget them. And then, of course, we have MODOK, which we just saw in Ant-Man Quantumania. I actually did enjoy that movie. I thought it was very good. Here is a con exclusive. This is the Emerald City Comic Con 2021 Spectre from the Batman universe. And then, believe it or not, they actually have some bigger pops. They have an 18-inch Groot, an 18-inch Harry Potter, and an 18-inch Batman, which I would love to put out on our lawn. And then, of course, we have... This is a lot bigger than I thought it was. That's too big. This Star Wars movie poster of Luke Skywalker with R2-D2. I thought it was like a regular... Like I thought it was like a, a comic cover yeah, that's what I size. I did not realize it was this big, but nonetheless, it's super cool, and they actually have two of them. So, guys, we're just getting started. Look how great this store is. Look how deep it goes. We have a lot of Harry Potter pops right here. Let's see. bunch of different variants. We are not huge Harry Potter collectors, but, of course, we do have some in our collection. Right here, we have Neville Longbottom, Albus Dumbledore, Ron Weasley, 
Hermione's here. We got the whole family. And oh, then you're gonna skip over the beautiful. Oh, I know. I was just about to get to the Star Wars section, but here, we're gonna start out with some good ones here. So here's Wrecker from the Bad Batch. Absolutely loving season two of the Bad Batch right now. These are probably my least favorite Star Wars pops. Um, not bad ones, you know, but not great. The Snowmen series. I think they could have done a better job on them. But you know what? I think I'll take the Snowmen series over the sequel trilogy. I'll, I'll tell you that. Down here we have some more Bad Batch. We have Echo, which is great. Here is Fennec Shand from the Book of Boba Fett. And then down here we also have some of the Concept series. Coming over here we have some more Star Wars, which is awesome. We got Mandalorian Season 3 right now dropping on Disney+, Plus, which I'm absolutely loving. Here are some of the Valentine's Day Star Wars pops. Grogu, Princess Leia, BB-8, Kylo Ren, Rey, and then we even have one of the Make-A-Wish ones with BB-8. We have some child pops, a lot of child pops. Then here is the Mandalorian, Major Domo, Luke Skywalker, and Grogu. Love this one because Grogu is just hanging out on his back. Chewbacca with the pork, which is super cute. Flying Mandalorian, Frog Lady, there is a lot of great ones. And then we're actually, we gotta show off some of these t-shirt bundles because Joanna and I have actually never seen this one. And I don't know if you guys have either. This is the Blacklight Batman animated series Joker pop and tee bundle. And they actually, they have a large, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna grab a large for us today and bring it all the way home. They also have the Diamond Captain Marvel as well as the E.T t-shirt bundle well. how crazy is it that we have to come all the way to portugal to get our pop and tea bundles because this our local cute. stores we're not huge harry potter fans but look at that shirt. that is super cute yep that shirt is killer super cute hedwig from harry potter they also have which character is this is this just naruto one of the naruto bundles here that's a cool shirt and then they even have another one that i've never seen this christmas deadpool with candy canes and it says, you're on my naughty list. How cool is that? Such a great one. They even have the brand new Grogu with cookies. And he's actually flocked. First flocked Grogu pop. I want to say that it's his jacket. I don't think Grogu himself no, is flocked. No, it's, it's what he's wearing. It's, it's what he's wearing. wearing. That makes sense. Okay, because like Grogu himself shouldn't be flocked. They also have another great flock pop here. This is Superman in the holiday sweater. And then Joanna also spotted this really cool flocked Mufasa from The Lion King. They even have some more t-shirt bundles that we have not seen before. This is the Nightmare Before Christmas Scary Jack Skellington. He actually glows in the dark. And that's another great shirt as well. And then we have the Back to the Future Doc Emmett Brown pop and tee bundle. And that one glows in the dark as well. So some great ones. Right here, they have a super cool Mandalorian shirt, which I have not seen before. I don't know if it's a Funko shirt, but, oh, it is actually, it is a Funko shirt. So I'm gonna be taking that home today because I love the Mandalorian. And then also, now moving into this section of the store, on the top of these shelves, they actually have the giant albums. I never picked up the doors. The Doors one? Yeah. Oh, man. oh, we're not picking it up here, but I never picked it up. I just thought I missed it. So for all you rocks collectors, they did a really good job on all these albums. I mean, they are big. They do take up a decent amount of space, unfortunately, but they're super cool because, I mean, look at this one. Look at the Kiss one. It glows in the dark. You get the four pops and the album. I mean, it's really cool. And then coming on down, they do have some of the advent calendars which is pretty cool. And then they also have a two pack here, an NYCC exclusive from 2018, as well as Jack Skellington and the snowmobile. So I really like how they put the larger items on the top of the shelves here. It just really makes the displays look very good. I'm gonna take a break from this wall for just a second and come over to the super cool Funko Blacklight stand. Like how awesome is this? If anything, I would love to buy this Blacklight display stand for our house. I know they won't let me, but they got some great ones here. This is Sylvie, or it's not Sylvie, excuse me, Scarlet Witch, Falcon Captain America, Sam Wilson, 
Deadpool, Captain Marvel, Gambit is back there. They also have Thanos, Doctor Strange, Ant-Man is cool, Magneto, Rogue, Doctor Strange, Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man. Look, they actually have the original four. So these four right here, Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, and Doctor Strange, were the original four black lights that they released. And then down here, they have just some of the DC ones. Here's Batman, of course, Harley Quinn, Captain Hook, Dr. Facilier, and Maleficent. So really cool black light this display. And uh, look, I mean, they got some great stuff over here. We will, of course, get to that section in just a minute. We'll come back over here to all the Disney pops. Up here, they have some of the Disney characters on the People Mover rides with Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, and Pluto. Love how they have them all right there. Um, let me see, they have some of the archives pops with Minnie Mouse. Here are some of the Mickey and Friends pops. These are all super cute. I love these the box designs with the blue and the yellow. It really suits the character as well. Here is some pops from the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World. This one's pretty cool. Have you seen this one? I don't think I've seen this one. I haven't. Minnie I'm Mouse. I'm glad they didn't put her in a six inch. Right? Yeah, exactly. She fits perfect inside that box. There's Minnie Mouse from the Halloween line, as well as some Monsters, Inc. ones. Here's a scented Yeti, as well as a flocked Sully, which is great. They have a lot of these Pops With Purpose ones. We love these sprinkled in throughout the displays, which is great to see. They have some of the new ones from, I guess it's not super new anymore, but the relatively new Lightyear movie. And then coming over to this section, we have a Blacklight Jack Skellington, which was awesome. A couple of the train cars from the Nightmare Before Christmas train, which is great. There's the Blacklight Sally to go with your Jack, as well as Oogie Boogie. We have some Alice in Wonderland pops, some Pinocchio. Here's some more black lights. Some villains. The villains line is cool. They did a really good job. All the uh, detailing. I've never seen this. Oh, Scar. Specialty series Scar. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Dude, he's so cool. We have no space. But we I have no him. space. We brought like a couple protectors for a few pops and. Which we left at home. So we're which we left ahead. at home. Oh, look at the new Cruella. Which is awesome. Chernabog, Mary Sanderson, a couple characters from Raya and the Last Dragon, as well as the Manticore from Onward. Over here, we have some pops from the Doug Days Disney Plus show. We never saw that. We'll have to get around to watching at least a few episodes at some point. Here's some Beauty and the Beast, some pops from Soul. I heard that was a very emotional movie. Here is one of the ones from the new Moon Girl animated series. Apparently it's a new Marvel show. There's so much Marvel coming out these days. I didn't even hear about that one. Here are some of the new Rugrats pops, which we are huge Rugrats fans, as well as some of the new pops from the Bob's Burgers movie. Very interesting. Down here we have some Hello Kitty, which are super cute as well as some Simpsons. We got some Proud Family Pops. I remember seeing the Proud Family like the Proud as a kid. That was a good show. And here is some characters from the Powerpuff Girls as well as Dexter's Laboratory some from Cartoon Network. Oh, look, we got another chase. Here is the Glow Chase Hopeful Heart Bear. I bet you that has a fantastic glow. And that's honestly, that's a pretty fair price. Now, all these prices are in euros, obviously, because we're in Europe. Um, but somebody made a comment on one of our previous hunt videos when we were in Miami that the chase was very expensive. I got to give this store credit. That's a very fair price for that chase. So I think all the chases here, I've realized that all the chases, all the pops are about 1340 to 15 and the chases are all 24. So that's fantastic. That's a great price because some chases can be like 50, $60. Up here, I did want to highlight, they did have the new um, the crossover line between Scooby-Doo and the Looney Tunes. Right here, we have the Bugs Bunny Diamond and Fruit Hat, which is super great. Let's see, we have some South Park Pops. Some more Care Bears. Here are some of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 
from the movies line. Oh, your favorite line, My Little Pony. <laughs> That's right. Here's my favorite line ever, the My Little Pony line. How could we forget that? Then we have some retro toys with Cavity Sam, the Barrel Monkeys, which is a super funny pop, Stretch Armstrong, and then some G.I. Joe ones. Oh, here's some Transformers. We have Jazz, Soundwave, that's pretty awesome. And then some more G.I. Joe down there. Over here, we're now moving into some television pops. We have some Parks and Rec, some Grey's Anatomy, The Witcher, the Umbrella Academy. Down here we have Game of Thrones, which is seems like getting pretty popular again because of the new House of the Dragon prequel series on HBO Max. So if you guys are in need of Game of Thrones pops, Portugal has you covered. Here is Steve Irwin. We love the Steve Irwin pops. They're actually coming out with a new one, which we are very excited for. Here is some Motu Pops. We have a specialty series exclusive Snake Man at Arms. Yeah, a lot of great characters. I just love how they've organized everything so you know exactly where to go for your favorite lines. Here we have a Funko Shop exclusive Flocked Grizzlore. So a couple, uh, a couple Funko Shop exclusives have made their way over here, which is great. And then coming over here, we have one of the hottest shows in the last few years, Stranger Things. So look at this. We got Will, Eleven, Steve, Robin. A lot of great ones. They even have a Blacklight Dustin, which is great. There's Mike, Erica, Max, Lucas. I know Joanna's very excited for the last season. Maybe Bittersweet. Should there be more seasons after? No? We're done? It was a good run? I think so. All right, you guys heard it. Joanna says we're good. We got some Squid Games pops. There were some Happy Days ones that I just showed off. Everybody just unsubscribed. <laughs> and then we have a couple Office ones. And then look, we found another Chase, the Chase Crowley from Good Omens. How about that? That's like our third or fourth Chase that we've found today. All right, coming over here, we're moving into some anime, which is very exciting. I have to highlight all these Attack on Titan pop in, pops because... I know there's a lot of people who are collecting Attack on Titan now. There's Aaron. I don't know all the names, so I don't know if I should attempt. But we also have some Yu-Gi-Oh! Pops, which is very cool. There's a character from Fruits Basket. Some Inuasha. Hunter Hunter. Very cool. Up here, they even have some of the pop towns and pop rides. So there's the Dale Earnhardt with his car, the newer Ecto-1 with Trevor from Ghostbusters Afterlife, and then this one is super awesome, Dr. Peter Venkman with the Ghostbusters Firehouse HQ. And then now moving into this section, this is where they've very creatively stored all of their larger pops, which I absolutely love the way they did it. They have a lot of the movie moments. There's even a chase of Jerry's apartment with a lane right there, which is pretty cool. Right here we have Black Adam on his throne, the very cute Alice with flowers, some pops from, or some deluxe pops here from Frozen 2. Here's some larger ones from um, Marvel's What If. This is my favorite one. Captain Carter riding the Hydra Stopper. How cool is that? We have this one displayed out of box. As it, as it should be, and I love that one. Here's Iron Man from the original Avengers Assemble line. This is Shuri and her Sunbird from Wakanda Forever. This is this is very cool as well. Up here we have Elliot and E.T. This is a great pop right here. That's super cool. Boba Fett and Fennec Shan on the throne from the Book of Boba Fett. Here is Doc with the Clock Tower. That's another classic one from Back to the Future. Up here we have the brand new Batmobile. Well, not brand new but relatively the newest Batmobile from the new The Batman movie. Down here we have Jungle Cruise and then I got to show these off because these are super cool to see them all lined up. We have some of the comic book covers. We have Moon Knight which is awesome, Elektra, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern. I believe this is the Jessica Drew version of Green Lantern as well as the classic Superman. These are super cool to see all lined up. I wish we had the wall space. Maybe one day. 
Over here we have the Mandalorian and the child on the Bantha. Another great one right there. Oh, look at this. We even have Namor on the Orca from Wakanda Forever. How great is that? Moving over here, we have Mickey Mouse at the Space Mountain attraction. This one, I think they might have been able to fit in a smaller box. Seems to be a lot of space there. And then check this out. They have the brand new Mystery Machine. This is the first ever Funko Mystery Machine that they ever made. Now it has Bugs Bunny instead of Fred, but he's dressed up as Fred. So I guess we'll give him a pass for that. But nonetheless, a beautiful pop. Now Joanna just pointed out this amazing section that we have to show off. They have a nice Stranger Things set up here. I love the display. Once again, if we could take it home, I definitely would, but they're probably not going to let us. Some more great pops here. This is the Demo Bat, which I'm not familiar with, so it must be a newer character in the latest season. There's Eleven again. Here's Lucas, Max, Steve, Battle Eleven, so that's, that's serious. Then down here, we do have a black light Dustin, so they got you covered with Stranger Things Pops, which is pretty great. Over here, we have some more anime, and they also, once again, very creatively put all the larger, looks like sports magazine covers up there. And then we even have some of the Funko Gold figures. So they're pretty cool looking. Not something that we collect per se, but um, if they made some hockey ones, I, I probably would collect them. I'll just put that out there, Funko. I know somebody from, from Funko is probably watching this. Just throwing it out there. So here we have some My Hero Academia pops. And if you guys have been following us at all, we are not huge anime collectors unless the character is slurping up noodles. Then we probably don't have it in our collection. But a lot of great characters. There's Yuno. I know Inosuke. Zeko, I did watch a few episodes of Demon Slayer, so I'm basically an expert. Coming on down here, we have some fairy tale. Oh, we have another con exclusive. This is the second form cell from New York Comic Con. How about that? Very nice. All right, now we're going to move over to the next one here. We have some pops from Full Metal Alchemist, some One Piece. Avatar The Last Airbender. Just trying to do my best to show you guys all these great shelves. Oh, down here we have some Sonic Pops. So here's the classic Sonic. Sonic with a ring. That's a little bit of an older one right there. We have some Assassin's Creed. Look at that. Assassin's Creed right next to Sonic, as it should be. Uh, down here we have some Pokemon. Here's Pikachu. Five Nights at Freddy's, look at that. They got a bunch of Five Nights at Freddy's pops. Everybody's always asking us for those. Here's some more Pokemon. We have Jolteon, Flareon, <coughs> excuse me, Mewtwo, Pichu. Is it Mr. Mime? Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime, excuse me. Bulbasaur, some Cuphead pops, some Fortnite. Fortnite two pack, which is pretty cool. A lot of cool Fortnite pops. All right, now moving over to this section, it looks like we're gonna start getting into some ad icons, but they do have a couple <laughs> Spider-Man pops up here. This is the Miles Morales in 2020 suit. <clears throat> Down here we have a two pack here, the Fry Kids, which are super cute. Rock out Ronald McDonald. Here is the Hamburglar, and the Meal Squad French fries, the Cup, and the Meal Squad Hamburger. Those are a little creepy, not gonna lie. Mayor McCheese, Tennis McNugget, Grimace, the Fireman McNugget. Down here we have some of the Pan Am stewardesses looking pretty fly. Here's some Paca Pacas, some directors. We also have a couple of the Coca-Cola bears as well as the Coca-Cola Santa, which is super cute and great one to have for the holidays. Here's some Bob Ross, that Dilbert Pop is spot on. So there's a lot of great stuff. Oh, here. We have a Diamond Elvira, which is great. As well as, oh, they have a Flocked Clifford. If we didn't have this one, this one would definitely be coming home with us. That is super cute. Over here, we have a lot of Sports Pops. This is the last big section that we have to show off. Here are some Tennis Pops. 
as well as some football pops. It would be soccer in America, but here it's football. As well as some wrestlers from the WWE line. Then we have some great um, NBA pops. The uh, New Orleans Pelicans is a real team, by the way, guys. It is a real team. And then we have some pops from the Lakers, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, a lot of cool ones. So I did want to point out something pretty unique that we really haven't seen before in a store. Look at their pocket pop display. Now, in some stores, like you might see like a handful of pocket pops maybe near the register, but they have this entire setup, which is absolutely awesome. So they have some of the ones from The Nightmare Before Christmas, some Friends, which are super cute, Stranger Things, Eternals. <clears throat> Over here, we have some of the new Spider-Man pops in pocket pop form, which are super cute. Look, they have all three of them. So you can get Tom, Toby, and Andrew for your whole set. They have some Black Panther, Avengers Endgame. There's some Five Nights at Freddy's. Some Star Wars ones. I love the little Stormtrooper. That's super cute. How awesome are these? They look great, all lined up like this. Truly fantastic. And then over here, I didn't even see this when we first walked in. Get these. They actually have some mystery minis. Look at these. We have to get these. Oh, what are these? They're the same. They're pins. They're like little. Oh, little blind box lounge <laughs> blind box lounge fly pins. Nice. Look at that. And you found some Star Wars ones. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, look how cute. Those are cute. I'm a little upset that the Mandalorian only has, only has the child. Children. Yeah. The disrespect. That's a little bit of a bummer because if you guys saw the Mandalorian, you might have seen other characters in the show. <laughs> um, right here, they have a really nice lounge fly display. And then they have this fantastic movie poster of Dorothy and Toto. Happens to be Diamond from The Wizard of Oz. And they also have this really cool Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey with the broom. Man, that thing is massive. Absolutely massive. Really quickly, these aren't Funko, but I wanted to show them off because they're these super cute little statues. And I think some of them just look great. I love the Vision and Scarlet Witch one. There, of course, is Black Panther. How awesome is that? I love that one. Here is Robert Pattinson's Batman. He's reading the note from the Riddler. And they also have one of him unmasked. Professor X and Doctor Strange are back there. Here are some X-Men ones. Down here they have some Harry Potter. I love Captain America with his broken shield next to Thor and Rescue. And then down here they have some more DC ones. Obviously not Funko, but just something different. Pretty, pretty cool. Now moving over here... So they actually have their own store exclusives, which is pretty cool. Um, so see, these are a bunch of deluxe pops, but the one that they wanted us to talk about here is actually from Boruto, which is Naruto, the next generation. And this is Toborima Senju. Maybe I'm saying that wrong, so I apologize, but pretty cool. They have this deluxe pop, which is a store exclusive. So even though it has that brand new special edition sticker on it, that's pretty awesome that they have their own exclusive. And it's right next to some of these deluxe Harry Potter's pops. So here's Harry Potter pushing the trolley through the wall. And then they even have some of these super cute Valentine's Day four pack of pocket pops, which is great. So. If you guys ever find yourselves in Portugal in the Lisbon area, definitely come out and check out Loja Dos Pops because they have a fantastic Funko selection. So we're going to wrap things up. We're going to buy some stuff and we'll let you guys know what we end up picking up. All right, guys. So I'm back here in the studio. Thank you so much for checking out our little Europe vlog and hunt. I just want to give a huge shout out to the employees and owner at Loja Dos Pops. They were incredibly kind to Joanna and myself. They actually recognized us, which was 
pretty crazy to be recognized, you know, from your channel in another country. So we had a blast in the store and we are hoping to travel again to Portugal either later in the year or definitely again, you know, early next year. And that is definitely going to be a regular stop, you know, throughout our journey over in Portugal. But I do have a few things that we picked up. I'll be honest, we picked up a lot of stuff from the store, but in order to fit everything in our bags, we pretty much had to throw out a lot of boxes, not pop boxes, but we had to throw out um, some of the pop and tea bundle boxes that we got and some other packaging materials. And a lot of that stuff has been scattered either throughout the house and some of the stuff we bought we ended up gifting to some of our family members and Patreon members and um, sent to some other people as well. So we don't have everything that we picked up unfortunately. I do have a, a couple things that I will show off really quick. So we did end up grabbing this really, really cute Batman lounge fly bag for Joanna's lounge fly collection. We both spotted this and uh, I'm so happy that we ended up taking this one home. It has multiple Batmans, you know, throughout the bag. It also has the bat symbol, you know, the bat signal and everything. So it's a really, really nice DC bag and I'm so happy that we were able to pick it up. If you guys can actually identify, I don't know if they did it on purpose, but it looks like, you know, you have the Adam West version of Batman as well as the Dark Knight and Robert Pattinson. Um, so I don't know if they meant to de design each one of these Batmans off specific Batmans, but nonetheless, I think it is a really, really nice bag and a great addition to Joanna's already amazing collection. The other thing I was able to grab that was nearby, this actually isn't a Funko product, but I thought it was super cool. And I know you can get this over in the United States, but I did want to grab this just to help support the shop. And um, it was my first time seeing it in person. I've seen it on websites, but I actually got this Captain America, I believe it's a Minico figure. And uh, I don't have the packaging because that was one of the boxes we ended up throwing out, but he is holding Mjolnir from Avengers Endgame and he has the broken shield. So I'm a huge Captain America fan. I thought this would be a fantastic display piece for maybe my desk at work or something. I'm not sure where he's going to go yet, but that is one of the items that we picked up amongst several other pops. One pop that I was really excited to get was the brand new Dr. Octopus from Spider-Man No Way Home. I don't know where I put it, to be honest. It's kind of a mess right now. Um, things have been crazy over the last few weeks. As you guys may know, if you've been following the channel at all, we've had a lot of, you know, crazy growth and we've been trying to drop extra videos and content so with that extra content comes extra messes but nonetheless hopefully you guys enjoyed the video make sure to smash that like button and let us know down in the comments section below if you saw any items at loja dos pops that you would have picked up for your personal collection so that's going to do it hopefully you guys enjoyed the mix-up video instead of our regular weekly duel we will of course be back next friday with a nice box battle or soda battle haven't decided yet but you guys are the best thank you so much we just recently hit 21,000 subscribers and joanna and i could not be more grateful so have a fantastic weekend and as always don't stop shooting until you score Thank you.